The control panel may go blank. Have scrambled messages on the LCD. Or only a few features will function. If the system is getting the proper voltage at TB1, but still does not operate, then measure fingers 5 and 6 of the circuit board. You should see either 120 or 240 volts, depending upon the system configuration. On a deluxe or standard digital system, if you determine that there is no voltage at fingers 5 and 6, then the system power input fuse needs to be replaced. This fuse is located in the large fuse block inside the system box. This configuration utilizes a 30 amp time delay fuse. For systems which have the transformer mounted on the circuit board, and use 120 volt peripheral devices, measure between the white TB1 terminal and F5 power input fuse on the side farthest away from the circuit board edge. The voltage should read 120 volts. If the system is equipped with the additional F6 power input fuse, measure F6 in the same manner. The voltage should also read 120 volts. For systems which use 240 volt peripheral devices, measure between the red TB1 terminal and F5 power input fuse on the side farthest away from the circuit board edge. The voltage should read 240 volts. If the system is equipped with the additional F6 power input fuse, measure F6 in the same manner. The voltage should also read 240 volts. If you determine that there is no voltage at one or both locations, then the system power input fuse or fuses need to be replaced. Both F5 and F6 use a 25 amp time delay fuse. To determine that one of these devices has caused the failure, first, turn off the power. Be sure to replace the system power input fuse with the same type. Then, unplug the blower and all pumps. Restore the power and verify system operation. If the fuse blows, then recheck the internal system wires and connectors for burns, cracked or cut insulation, or other anomalous phenomenon. If the fuse does not blow, turn the power off and plug in the pump. We should point out that at this stage you should be sure to test each device individually. Next, restore the power and activate the pump. If the fuse blows, there's a pump problem. If the fuse doesn't blow, again, turn off the power. First, disconnect the pump. Then, plug in the blower. Power up the system and activate the blower. If the fuse blows, then there's a problem with the blower. If the fuse does not blow, the combined pump and blower amperage may be excessive. To verify this, first check with your SPA manufacturer for amperage draw limits on each device. Since the blower should now be running, you can check the amperage draw with an amp meter by measuring around the white blower wire and compare with manufacturer specifications. Next, turn off the power, disconnect the blower, then plug in the pump and restore power. Start the pump and switch to high speed. This should draw the most current. Check the amperage draw 
at the white pump wire. Compare your reading with manufacturer specifications. If other plug-in devices exist, they should be tested in the same way. If the amperage draw for each device is within manufacturer specifications, the problem could be a nuisance spike in the pump or water in the blower. For a Class II transformer circuit, UL requirements specify that a fuse must be permanently installed to protect the circuit board. If you have determined that the system is getting proper voltage through the power input fuse, then you must check to see if the soldered in fuse has blown. Miswiring of the spa is the most common reason for this fuse to blow. However, a lightning strike in the area is a possible, though less likely, cause of the failure. These slow blow fuses are not always discolored when blown. Always test their integrity. The following tests involving systems with offboard transformers do not apply to systems with the transformer mounted on the circuit board. First, turn off the power. Next, unplug the transformer from the circuit board, then turn the power back on and probe from finger five to one side of the fuse. The voltage should be the same reading as between fingers five and six. Probe from finger five to the other side of the soldered in fuse. The voltage should be the same. If either side has no voltage, then the fuse is blown. If so, turn off the power and replace the circuit board.